Uh, after about 10 minutes of doing the homework, uh, I stop them and then we'll show them how to graph. Because uh, at this point, most students know how to read a graph and many of them can make a nice, decent graph. But I want to make sure that um, they spread out their numbers. And, and some students have difficulty doing this. You might end up with a really small graph and I like it spaced out. So I'll just show them the first three that, you know, you can start with 80 and then they're their highest atomic number for their decay series is going to be uranium. So I'll, I'll tell them to just space it out and I'll do the first three for them right here and then let them do the rest. I don't show them this graph. I will have a fresh one and, and do it this way. And then I'll also start with 205 even though lead is 207, just a little bit lower so it's not all the way down here. And then I'll tell them to space it out every two going to the highest uh, atomic number. And this usually gives a really nice uh, decay series that's spread out and the students can read it and kind of see a pattern of what's going on. They can also circle them if they want. Um, I find it a little cramped, but some students like to do that. And then they can also label what kind of decay, put an alpha here or a beta decay there along there. So, um, and this looks, gets the students to really kind of understand what goes on in a, uh, in nuclear decay.